Shalom family. Unfortunately, another one of the big signs we see all around us every day, and it's probably one of the most frustrating ones for us who are awake and watching, is the sleeping body around us. People not watching, people not looking, people not even realizing what's going on outside their own towns or homes in some cases or workplaces. People that are not interested in looking or making any connections in the brain with the word of God as to what is happening around them. Sleepers and those who do not wish to see because then they would have to make changes in their lives based on what they have seen is the proof of God and all that he has said will come to pass. So that is unfortunately a sad reality. And we've seen this played out in natural disasters and situations in the world many times in the past. But most recently, and, and I'm not going to lean on past situations, I'm going to give you this one example. I saw this new story about a volcano eruption that took place now in the last two weeks. And these climbers had been climbing to the very top of the rim of the volcano to go have a look at it this active volcano and as they reached the rim of the volcano it erupted shock and horror and they are running down the side of the volcano they look like fleas just fleeing down the volcano and they survived but they're running down the side getting away and the first thing I'm thinking of this is what it's like living today in these final moments of mankind we know this volcano of the tribulation is rising. It is getting ready to erupt at a moment's notice. We're warning everyone. It's alive. It's going to go. It's going to pop. Get ready. Know what we're looking at. Realize how this affects you. No one's listening. They're hiking up the volcano to go take pictures because we're obviously talking rubbish. And as they get to the top, this thundering eruption, 8,000 plus feet into the air, they were probably deaf from this eruption. Shock, horror, heat, the blast, the realization of, oh my word, I was wrong. This thing's actually ready to go now. That's what it's like living in the times we're living in. So I'm going to attach that clip here. Have a look at this clip. And then you just think like I was thinking now about the situation exactly as it is. Shalom. Shalom. 